Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm doing a little test, so uh, I'm having Phil video it just because you might want to uh, see what I'm doing. I wasn't going to have it videoed, but I thought, ah, why not? I'm up here. I might as well have him come up here and be useful as well. I have nothing else to do. That's right. The dog is being groomed at the moment, so we can't go anywhere, do anything. So we're doing a test. I have my base down. I'm not using a color today because I wasn't in the mood to make a colored base, but I will later on today. It's just my color place from Walmart. No silicone, no glue, no water. Plain old white, ready to use house paint, parentheses, satin. So what I'm experimenting with today is I'm using all golden fluid acrylics. There's no paint and there is no pigments in this test today. It's only golden fluid acrylics in my pouring medium. You only need a few drops of this. Uh, it's very, very vibrant. Just a few drops will get you there. I know uh, people think these are expensive, but they're really, really not because you get a lot of different types of creations from this little bottle. And this is an eight, uh, four ounce. It comes in eight ounce and 16 ounce. And I believe Phil put these in our Amazon shop. So they're ready to go. They're wonderful. You can mix them with paints, um, anything. I love them. So we're going to see how it goes here with just all the golden fluid today. I have Quinacridone Azo Gold. I have the Turquoise Phalo. I have the Alizara, Alizarin Crimson Hue. This is the Teal. This is the Phalo, uh, Green Phalo. And this is the Permanent Violet. I do have other colors coming that I ordered from Jerry's Artorama. And uh, we'll see how they're going to be. But this is what I have going today. Well, this should be interesting. I don't know if uh, we've ever done all golden fluids. No, we have not. So, what do I want to... Oh, I'm just going to do it like this, I guess. Okay, so you're going to do a drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin on this. Yeah, going to okay. see how they go. It looks like a 10 by 10 canvas to me. Right. Now these colors I got all out of our Amazon shop, our link, but there are some that you can't, some of the colors you can't get. So that is the reason I ordered um, a couple of them from Jerry's because not all places have all the colors. Like, I mean, if you go to Michael's, they hardly have any of the colors. So, I mean, you can get pretty many of them through our Amazon shop, but there are some weird colors that I wanted to get that just did not have them. But these colors are beautiful. If you look at like this um, turquoise, yeah, it's nice. beautiful. beautiful. It's a beautiful color. Sure, I wasn't looking what I was doing. <laughs> now look what I did. Oh, boy. Oh, well, that's okay. But yeah, I thought, oh, why not try this out once and mm -hmm. see what happens. I'm really curious because I really like... Uh, the golden fluids a lot. And like I said, you just need a few drops. You can see how dark it is with just a few drops. Exactly. You don't need a lot of drops. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Elements, their pigments and other supplies, Arteza Paints and Pigments and their supplies, and KS Resin. So if you need some supplies, um, those types of supplies, there are some discount links in the description box. So take advantage of that. So what's everybody doing on this beautiful day today? This is what I'm doing. And I cleaned up my, part of my painting table. Phil can show you. It took me two and a half hours to get it 
like organized yes, because or it was a mess. Organized by colors, that's for sure. And then those are all uh, different pigments and so forth she's working with. Yeah, it was, it was a big mess. So now I am putting the teal color down. The last color was the crimson hue. So we're going to see what this looks like. And remember, people, when you do your drizzle, go to the ends. I know that a lot of you don't like to uh, waste paint, but I like to have my colors all the way to the end. This is my green phalo. Another thing to keep in mind on the drizzle is you really don't want to cover all the canvas so you don't see any of the base. You want to have some of the base show, showing through. Yeah, you don't want it totally covered up. That's why I always, um, most 95 to 99% of the time I have a colored base because when the colored base comes through, it's beautiful. Are you sure it isn't 94.5% of the time? Could be. <laughs> maybe. And maybe 99.5%. Okay, this is our permanent violet. So we're just going to see what happens here, everybody. Going to see if we like this. Like I said, it's just a test. It's actually a, more of a color test. That's what I'm really doing to see what I'm going to get here. Okay. I gotta lean down, see if I have any bubbles. Nope, no bubbles. Okay, on with my black magic. And you know that is Floetrol and my black Amsterdam paint. You can use any color Amsterdam paint that you have. I like them all. So, and I don't have my gloves on today, but that's okay. I forgot my gloves. Oh well. It won't be the first time. That's true. As you can see, Kathy uses simply plain playing cards for her swiping. And she cleans it after every swipe to make sure there isn't any residual paint on there. So all there is on there is the fresh cell activator. Yeah, you don't want to get your paint. And the reason for that is you want to create, of course, all these cells during the swiping step. But you also don't want to get paint in your cell activator. That would not work. Hey, it looks like it's working. Yes. I think it's going to be kind of pretty. Yay! I'm excited now! It's making my day! When Kathy does swipe, it's a very gentle swipe. She basically lays the card on the drizzled paint and then of course swipes it. Hey, I like so, these uh, colors. You don't need a lot of pressure at all. These colors are really, really pretty. Yeah, you're popping some really, oh, wow. really nice colors. I like these golden fluids. I, I've always liked the golden fluids. I just, I really like how it, uh, they're popping the colors for me. Very vibrant. Yes. Ooh, this is fun. Fun experiment. Oh, wow. Cool. Cool beans, people. <laughs> Kathy does have an Etsy shop and a Redbubble shop. In her Etsy shop, of course, are all her original creations. And the Red Bubble Shop is a shop that has her images, her art images, imprinted on a, a wide variety of different products. And those are two sites that are kind of fun to kind of peruse, click around, see what they have. And I'll have direct links to her Etsy shop and her Red Bubble Shop in the description box. Wow, look at that. Look at all the beautiful, vibrant colors coming out in the cells. Wow. 
That's pretty cool. Yes. This is exactly what you want after the swipe. Tons and tons of colored cells. I just have to get this river here. Well, that didn't help much. <laughs> But that's okay. This is my color test, so. Um, okay, now I'm just going to do a little bit of swiping. No, you've already swiped. I mean, uh, <laughs> reckon. I reckon. Okay, let me see here. I might want to do something there. Maybe just a tad. Okay. There we go. Okay. So. How am I going to swipe this little beauty today? You've Phil? already swiped. <laughs> how, am gonna, you, I, <laughs> how am I going to wreck this little beauty today? Yeah, you're going to get everybody confused between the wreck and the swipe. Yeah, well. You've already swiped. Now you're going to wreck. Kathy does use a pointed stick. I think I should point it in my brain. <laughs> okay. What do I want to do here? I don't want to do too much. I don't want to lose well, a lot of this. A lot of times you go down the middle. I know, but to... I don't know if I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll just do it one down the middle. And that'll be it. But you know how that goes. Yes. Now but once I'm, is the wreck. once I'm like this, then I go like this, you know. I know. Once you get started, you can't stop. I know, isn't that the truth? Like I said, this is a test of the color, so it's... It is, it doesn't really matter. Well, hopefully something really nice turns out, though. Oh, it's going to turn out. I can already tell it's going to turn out. Okay. That's going to be Let's enough. See. Let's see the wrecking lines. Nice and frilly and wispy. Just the way Kathy likes them. Okay, so we're going to spin a little and then spin a little. Spin... Stop. Spin. Stop. Oh, baby. <gasps> oh, that turned oh, this is Look pretty. Oh, my gosh. I love these colors. What about you, Phil? Oh, yeah. The colors are nice and vibrant and oh, bright. Oh, my goodness. I love this. Look at how the cells expanded here but retain their colors, outlined very Holy nicely cow. with the black cell activator, and the wrecking lines expanded and are very, very cool in there. You know, it's really cool because you can, with these golden fluid, you can see every color that I used. I mean, there isn't one that you can't see. Yeah, that's true. You can see every single one. Oh, I love this. Do you think it needs to be spun anymore to increase ah, the size of the cells? I could. Yeah, let's see what happens. I mean, I could. It doesn't really we're matter. kind of experimenting here, so. Yeah. Let's see what happens with a little more spinning. Can't hurt it. Yeah, see, they just okay. keep getting bigger and bigger. These are, I love this. I really love this. Yeah, that is the purpose of the spinning. I'm going to do it one okay. more time. Yeah. I'm going to do it the other way. Okay. I really, I'm, I love these uh, golden fluids. They're beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at, look at how it really expanded. Right, so you're getting the, the more spinning Kathy does, the larger the cells are getting. And you see every single color that I've used. I love this. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm yes. glad I tried this experiment because I can't wait to get the other ones now. <laughs> Take a look at close up. That's kind of a neat thing. Looks like a, a bird's nest or something. I don't know what it looks like. I'm uh, going to have to study this that one. One side had has the larger cells, and then this side sort of has the. The smaller cells, but all all of them still have nice colors. And their cells galore. I mean, it's just really, really nice. Yes, it is. Well, I'm glad I tried this. I yes. do have a little bubble, though, that I want to get rid of. There we go. Okay, face it. So the, cool. the large bubbles are by me. Okay. So, yeah, that's kind of a neat way to do it. You got all the big bubbles on the 
bottom and then all kinds of fancy bubbles on top. That's really neat. Well, if you enjoyed my experiment, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, these golden fluids, uh, the colors are amazing to me. I love them, love them. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, we're hoping to hit 10,000 soon. And I hope everybody has just a wonderful day. And thank you for joining us today on my experiment. Even though I forgot my gloves, that's fine too. So until the next time, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, make a creation and, and show it. Oh, and um, go to our Facebook page and join our Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. You can post whatever you would like on there, your creations, and uh, join us in there. It's a lot of fun. So like I said, it's free and join our channel as well. That is free. So until the next time, see you later, alligators. Bye.